Yeah, yeah intro. Intro. Wait, what's what's introduction. That, that the, uh, whoa, whoa. Okay. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Look, there's a, a couple of words of introduction. It'll be worth the wait. Um, the uh, sans serif um, is, a, is, a, is a lover of jewelry. And she has a lead on the most unspeakably valuable treasure of all time. And she has to do a lot of swimming, and she's played by Ava Mendez, which means in in one of my movies, a very, very tight um, swimsuit. <laughs> Surprised? Now, um, under, filling underwater is, is what we, uh, the technical term for it is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> but there is nothing that replaces the, the movement of the hair. Um, through technology that probably started in the Pentagon and, and ended up in our very hands, we, 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 we found a phantom camera that was able to shoot slower than death. And uh, Ava Mendez was one of the first to, to, uh, to work with it. All the scenes you're about to see were shot dry. So there wasn't an ounce of water in them. And uh, Ava was given the instruction to uh, act like the Flash. So everything she did that would take a minute was going by in a couple of seconds. And that's the remarkable thing about her performance, Jamie's as well, in the Lorelei sequence. But what we're showing you is yeah. Ava underwater in a wetsuit. Now, one other thing, just so you know, when we first discussed this, when we were talking about this with our technology people, we said, okay, the other issue for me, besides the hair, is that when you see somebody underwater in comics, they look great. Their makeup is perfect because, you know, there's no water. So we wanted these characters to look like the drawing characters, and the only way to get there is to not actually have water. Um, but until now, to do that was really not as, um, you weren't able to do it. This camera and a lot of other techniques and a lot of people in this movie, including Sam, he also gets to be underwater and swim uh, without swimming. Um, so now we should show some. Well, yeah, and, and now also I'd, I'd like to add that, that um, a lot of people don't understand how hard actors work. It is a lot of very, very hard work. Um, I, I would challenge anyone in this audience to keep the pace that Jamie King did during the day we shot Laura a lot. Yeah. Um, I but now you know there's actually no clip, right? <laughs> 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 and it was fairly early in the um, in the um, Ava Mendez sequence that I noticed that her um, the ends of her fingers were looking a little purple and asked her to take her glove off and she'd broken every nail in her hand and hadn't said a word to anybody. Ava was a trooper. She was she uh, was was a very hard worker, very eager to get the job done, and complained not a bit. And I've got to say the same is true of pretty much the entire cast. So let's go to Ava. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. For <laughs> cast member, uh, every hero film needs a hero. Frank, why don't you introduce the next cast member? Oh, yeah. Yeah, then, um, <clears throat> there was the most difficult member of the cast to, I'm not saying to work with, but to pick. Because I was determined to, to follow uh, Richard Donner's lead and find a face that people generally didn't know to play the spirit, so that he'd be known first as the spirit. So it wouldn't be the spirit, another Tom Cruise vehicle. Um, and then I had to, I had to uh, begin a very long journey, a very difficult one, which was to find um, a man in Hollywood. <laughs> They make, uh, they make many very good male actors in Hollywood, but very few who can play heroes. And, um, and that's, that's why you stick with a Bruce Willis, or Harrison Ford, or Clive Owen. Um, and why, why um, they're able to, just, to keep your interest. Uh, playing a hero is a very difficult thing. It, it requires uh, many nuances that people don't appreciate. Um, I asked Bruce Willis once why he was able to walk through a door looking like he was a foot taller than me, and he said, I don't know, 
do it. <laughs> anyway, one day we were we were uh, we were um, auditioning this young man, and I asked him to uh, talk about Sans Serif, but to improvise and to act like he just had the snot beat out of him. And, and uh, he just wanted to tell a buddy at a bar about this uh, beautiful woman that he knew from his childhood. And Gabriel Mox walked into the, the uh, you know, he exited the room then came in, and in a couple of sentences, he became the hero of the movie. Um, and so here he is, Gabriel Mox. <laughs> your take on that character you know uh, is he uh, is he funny is he is he uh, a tough guy I think the spirit's got a lot of different colors um, he uh, he can laugh at himself he can um, he can be very deadly um, especially when it comes to beating the shit out of Sam Jackson um, um, he uh, he he loves women Every woman he meets, he just falls in love with. I don't know what happened, but he's a young detective and he gets shot in the line of duty. And about 10 hours later, he awakes into this new thing and he walks the streets for many hours and he, he, he sees that he can do things that certain cops can't do. And he makes a deal with, with the commissioner and um, he says, I can be the eyes and ears of, the, of Central City. And along with that, for some reason, he's got this extra level of like pheromone attraction. <laughs> so he, he falls in love with women and women fall in love with him. And, and he was just a joy to play. And what an amazing opportunity. I got to thank this man to my left here. The best opportunity for a young actor. So thank you. Yeah, we have, um, I've been told that we have a couple questions here from uh, uh, Yahoo. I guess uh, uh, some Yahoo users have some sort of deal that, with the people that are putting this panel on. So, uh, Yahoo user Rashad Harnick asked you, Gabriel, what was it like working with Ava Mendes, Scarlett Johansson, Jamie King, and Sarah Holmes? Feel free to take your time on this one. <laughs> he soldiered on. Yeah. It's really hard to go to work every day. Um, as beautiful and as wonderful as my wife is, I, I did work with some beautiful and wonderful, wonderfully talented actresses. Um, I worked with Scarlett before, and she's just she's terrific. She's just an amazing young young woman, very mature for for who she is. And 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 Ava's just terrific. I mean. Every, it was, a, it was a dream come true playing this role, and to play with these women, it was awesome. That's fantastic. Well, do we, uh, how are we doing on time? Do we, should we show the final? Maybe we should show yeah. the love. Yeah. Love, yeah. Love, 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 Honest, really, the love of his life. <laughs> She's the only one. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. 